Hey, what's up, YouTube? Back in the middle of the 80s, when I was a DJ on the radio station in Alaska, um, the Supreme Court ruled that it was okay for your employers to demand random urine samples to test and make sure that you weren't taking any illegal drugs. And if you were seen to be taking such substances, uh, your employer was within their rights to fire you. And I remember back in those days, uh, people often said, well, you know, it's okay because if you've got nothing to hide, you've got nothing to fear from having to give up your bodily fluids for inspection. Anyway, um, since the digital age has uh, dawned, and electronic surveillance is more and more widespread. Um, you still hear people saying, in fact more so than ever in the post 9-11 world, if you've got nothing to hide, you've got nothing to fear. If you're such a person who's actually said that, if you hold that opinion, I call bullshit. I don't think you really mean it. If you really believe that having nothing to hide means you have nothing to fear. Let's just limit that to the authorities now, okay? Say the police and or the government. If you really believe having nothing to hide means you have nothing to fear, would you be okay being stopped and searched at random for any sort of contraband or whatever? Just, you know, whenever the police decided to, they could just stop you and search you. If you say yes to that, what about on a daily basis? Nothing to hide, nothing to fear, right? Would you be okay with the police following you everywhere you went? Nothing to hide, nothing to fear, right? Would you be okay uh, having all of your conversations subject to being eavesdropped or recorded? Nothing to hide, nothing to fear and I'm talking about all your conversations do you value your privacy at all if so how can you reconcile that with the notion that having nothing to hide means you have nothing to fear what is your privacy for why does it matter to you to have it Nothing to hide means nothing to fear, right? Wrong. We can't always trust. In fact, we usually can't trust people in positions of power. We need to be able to question authority and to hold authority accountable. And when they have more information at their disposal about us than we have about them, that becomes incredibly difficult to do. But more to the point, privacy is something that matters. If you really believe having nothing to hide means you have nothing to fear, why don't you just send the police a key to your house and tell them to search it whenever the fuck they want? What have you got to lose, right? After all, you've got nothing to hide.